Uh, the thing I'm most pleased with is everybody, you know, knew how we practiced and, um, you know, we got the tempo we expected and we got a lot of really good first day execution. So we had a lot of good carryover from the spring and our summer work. So, you know, I'm, I'm really pleased with uh, the way we practiced the first time out. Uh, quarterbacks, you've got a collection of them. Mm -hmm. uh, talk a little bit about what you saw out of those. What are you looking forward to before you name a starter? Uh, the start will be a long process. Right, we'll wait until really honestly the very end or when it shows Good. itself. So it's going to be a process. I mean, today was about getting everybody just reacclimated back into football. What did I notice today? Well, they're, you know, fundamentally they're where they should be because we've done a lot of work together. Uh, they picked up where they left off and then. Um, I just, right, uh, you know, our freshman, you know, he's he showed showed out today. You know, Polly Seeley, he just, uh, you know, he he did some really good things. So he's honestly where he should be. I mean, he's now been in it in the spring. So he he popped out there today, and I thought, uh, you know, Bryce and Kate had their spots there also. So, you know, today was you know day one, and honestly, day ones are about getting organized. And defensively, or what are you seeing on your defense? Uh, there are a lot. Of, you know, I love our style of play. We're multiple. We're doing some really good things, and I just I like uh, I like the havoc that they're creating because you know they're gonna, you know they've got some they've got some really good. Uh, you know, we were again day one install, but you know just the way they line up and all their different stuff and give you the same defense. I mean, they're 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 gonna make you work. Notice some real energy certainly mm -hmm. from your guys. Is that what? what how, why do you encourage that? Why is that good to see from them, especially so early? Well, it's supposed to be fun. We're all playing this game. I'm coaching because I love it and it's fun, and they're playing it because they love it and it's fun. So we never, we always want it to, we always want that element out here. We want them to love the game, you know, because the game, that's why we're all doing, that's why I coach, that's why they play. And so the joy of the game and the chance to compete and, you know, Play a game they love, so I, I've always appreciated that about this group of kids. They've, they've really gone with us on that because that was one of my big, one of my big steps I wanted to take with them is getting to love football. They talk about how much you love them mm -hmm. and how evident that is. You stepped in when things could have gone either direction mm -hmm. last year. How do you lead in that moment, and how did you see them respond? Mm -hmm. Even to this point, that they're they're still responding to your leadership. Well, they, it was just uh, you know I, I felt like you know I I I felt what they needed basically. I just trusted my instincts. You know, 41 years of football teaches you a lot, so I've got the experience thing going for me, and I just really you know I know in every great situation, and I've been blessed in my career to be a part of a bunch of them. Um, that happens is because you know. The, you know, coaches love the players, the players learn to love each other, and then things take off. You know, you develop an attitude and a chemistry about each other and about your work, and a standard uh, comes out of that, and you become, you become a relentless team, a team that, you know, can, can you know, wreak some havoc and do some things. And that's, we have such a great football tradition here. You know, we're all blessed and grateful to be a part of it because this is one of the great FCS programs in the country. And the kids are, you know, I've made it a, I've made it a real purpose to teach them about our history, about our tradition, because I want them to, you know, be grateful for it. And I want them to make their own chapter of that, you know, so that's our challenge. Have you seen tradition? I mean, you mentioned your lengthy career. Where was it that you realized that value of tradition, that importance uh, of it? Well, I just, you know, everything that everything that I've ever known Wofford to be, you know, I've been, you know, again, professional for a long time, and I've seen Wofford, the smallest Division One program in the country, you know, play championship football under Coach Coach Ayers. And, you know, he had, um, obviously, just being around his players, I got a few of them on my staff, uh, you know, great love for the kids. <clears throat> um, I love for the game, and he did it right. You know, so you know our our kids. You know, they they have done it. You know, I've I've tried to you know get as many of the guys that played for him, and you know I've showed him his in, induction speech into the you know South Carolina Coaches Association, which was one of the most awesome speeches I've ever heard. So they have embraced that. They've embraced what that means. So, and uh, we we got to go prove it. But that's the process that you know I think we're all love and embrace. To be honest with you. Sounds like it makes you maybe a little emotional there. Yeah, you know? they, just where they've done it. Yeah, they've been good. They've been good. When you talk about um, 
the the process of all of this mm -hmm. um i know belief is such a big part of it especially when you're building mm -hmm. where where's that belief sit right now is is that the final piece or well yeah i think it's you know with belief comes confidence and you know you got to believe in it and you got to want it really bad and i you know i just you know i in my own life and you know what i've learned in my own life my own life example i think uh you know the good lord puts things inside you and, and you know that's you know that's a purpose, and um, what I've tried to get the kids to do is go chase that, you know, chase what's inside them, and you know that's uh, I think that's a really big, really important part of what coaches do today. Coaches are such an important part of our society that uh, partner alongside parents and other coaches that have been involved in these kids' lives. Uh, you know, it's a real honor for us to get the chance to do that because we got a we got a young person's life in our hands and that we can impact in a very positive way and that's what that, we want to leave an impact for you you talked about new chapters this mm -hmm. is a new chapter for you this is your camp now mm -hmm. and all that talk about talk a little bit about what you put in for that and how this camp is different it's got your style uh you know we've just you know i've really just kind of parlayed off of what i have known i've had great i've worked under great head coaches and I've been a part of great programs where, you know, the leadership has taught me, you know, how to manage a team, you know, on the field, how to prepare a team, how to get a team ready, you know, the motivational piece, what's really important, what's not important. So I've just used my experience and trusted my instincts and my gut, what I know is what the kids need and what we need. And, you know, moving forward, that's what we'll continue to do.